I got a text from Jason Kuhn last night. Said he had a dream that I won a bracelet wearing a red blazer. I have a red blazer. I will be wearing that when we make this final table. Ooh, it's in the universe. I'll come back and I'll do it though, I promise. Okay. Huh? Very fair. Well, I mean, yeah, I only get 10 minutes. I gotta run all the way over there. And I got so many chips to count. Do you have Mike under? Oh, in my phone? Yes. He's crazy, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> More than 30 big bets in stud eight. Zoned in. I like the situation. It's a good situation. Hey, I work hard every motherfucking day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I work hard, I work hard. All right, good morning, friends. Good morning. Starting the daily routine. I didn't sleep great last night for one of the dumbest reasons you can ever imagine. I was thinking about a hand that wasn't even like about me, but I was in it. I talked about it yesterday and I was like all night, trying, what the, uh, before bed, I was just thinking about trying to figure out exactly what the guy had. And so I did, but I still think, and this is funny because it's a good player but I think he really blundered it. I don't know if it's too early in the morning for a hand breakdown. What do you think? Can we do a hand breakdown? Stud eight or better hand breakdown? What do you guys think? Let's get right to it, shall we? Okay, let's do a hand breakdown from outside here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay, so stud eight. We were playing uh, 15 and 3,000 limits. I have split queens with an eight, and there's a bunch of low cards behind me. I go ahead and raise. Richie Zoo, he calls with the he calls with a six up. And then uh, the other player, who is the one that made the play, calls with a seven of spades. And then two others call. The bring-in defends and one other call. So it's five-way action, okay? On 4th Street, the other two guys, not that I don't mention here, they just bricked out. So we don't have to mention them. Just forget about them. They don't exist. It's just the three of us. They bricked out. So Richie, he catches a jack. So he's got six jacks showing. The other guy has seven deuce off suits showing. And I have queen nine. So... With the other two breaking off and a seven deuce not really being like all that scary, you know, five, six suited, ace, four suit, those are scary, but like seven deuce off. Can't make a straight with seven deuce. So this is a good spot for me to bet. Um, Richie may call, may not. Hopefully the seven deuce, if he does have a low draw, he's going to raise and kick out the other guys, right? That's typically what you would do, clear out the rest. Um, so I bet Richie calls with the jack six, which lets me believe that like, He's got a pretty good three card. Must be like some sort of three card straight. I learned this. I figured this out pretty quickly. Could could be. Yeah. Anyway. So the seven deuce guy does not raise, which is interesting to me. I'm like, okay, well, what did maybe he paired something like that. The other two just fold. So now it's the three of us on to fifth street. Richie, he catches the three. The other guy catches the nine of spades. We start with the seven of spades, deuce of diamonds. Now he's got the nine of spades. I catch a six. Okay. So now the board looks good for me. Nobody's got their low yet. I'm in, I'm in front. So I go ahead and bet my Queens. Now, rich raises on fifth street. Okay. So if he's raising with a high hand, what high hand could that be? Will not be Jack's cause he would fold Jack's against the queen raise with low cards. Okay. Um, it won't probably won't be threes cause he would have folded on fourth street. So the only high hand that makes sense that he could have with aces or Kings, he re-raises me pre-flop. So the only high hand he could possibly have is three sixes, which is unlikely since we caught a six as well. So it would have to be K6. So we're ruling that out. What we're giving him is a really nice draw. What is a really nice draw with, with uh, Jack 6-3? It's 4-5, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday, always. This hand is 4-5, ladies and gentlemen. I know it. This is my reading skills study. This is the only hand he's raising. I don't see him raising. Maybe he has uh, some other gut shots, but I doubt it. I think it's an open and straight draw. Could be an ace, but probably not. Like a, you know, six low with an ace draw. Um, he raises, and now the other guy calls with the seven deuce nine. Okay? With two spades. Well, oh boy, all right. I think I'm still good with the queens. I, I go ahead and call. Now Richie catches the ace of diamonds. The other guy catches the eight of spades. I catch the seven of diamonds. So now I have six, seven, eight, nine, and a pair of queens. Well, Rich bets his ace, and he's got four or five in the hole, okay? Now it's up to the other guy, and the other guy hits the eight of spades. So he thinks for a little bit, and he raises. Okay, so when he raises there, what makes sense for him to have? Five, six makes a lot of sense in the hole, let's say. Although with five, six, he probably should have bet raised on four street, right? 
with that hand. Um, flushes, you know, other just random, like, but even flushes actually make a decent amount of sense, like something like, you know, king five of spades in the hole or whatever. Either way, when he raises, we cannot continue because, you know, we're going to get re-raised by Rich, and then this guy can re-raise. We're going to end up putting in five bets here, and we don't do that drawing to half the pot. So we have an easy fold. Rich, of course, re-raises because he has the 4-5, which we all knew. Everyone's supposed to know this. I think, in retrospect, oddly enough, other guy, because I'll tell you why. I think other guy was thinking about, like, hoping, somehow hoping that Rich paired aces... So he can't be, which he can't be anyway. But anyway, so on the end, Rich bets dark. Bets in the dark. The guy folds. Here's the thing. With a pot that size, massive pot, any pair, any ace high that can beat the board must call. Like literally if he had ace king high, he has to call because there's too much money in that pot. And it's pretty obvious that, you know, Rich is going into the river with ace four, five, six, well, ace three, four, five, six jack. So, you know, maybe he catches a nine or a 10, whatever. He bet dark. So you have to call there. He folds. So now you're thinking, so what the f was that hand, right? Richie's hand, we know, 4-5. He ended up not making anything more, according to what he said. He just won the pot. So what the hell is this guy doing? Why was he raising, right? Well, I think he mis I think he misconstructed Rich's, ra Rich's range. Six minutes. Sorry, y'all. An interesting hand to me. I told you, I could write a book about this hand. I think he thought that maybe Rich paired the aces and thought that he and had, I think he had an eight low is what I think he had. I think he had either 4-6 or five, six with a spade. So a flush draw, straight draw. Um, but again, all those hands should have raised on four street, which they didn't. So not well, it makes sense. But I think what he did was he probably folded an eight, seven low because it's blatantly obvious with no pair, blatantly obvious that when Richie can re-raise there and bet, it's not a high hand because he's looking at seven, eight, nine with three spades. So it's always a low. So if he has eight, seven low, you know, and he missed his draw, then he's got an easy fold in the end. The problem with what he did though, was to move me out, which I don't know, I shouldn't even be relevant to his hand, really. I guess the only value he gets in knocking me out is now he can make any pair, right? And he can win the high, right? So there's some value in there, but it's costing you three bets because you're gonna get re-raised instead of one where you could just see it and you just leave my little queens in. If you hit your draw, you win anyway, you know? But anyway, that's what I think he had was four, six or f four, six or four, five with a spade. Don't like the play, it was too uh, ambitious and not as logical as you think. I think even if, yeah, I don't think it made sense, but that's why I was up all night because the guy's a good player. So I'm like, what the f are you doing? Now we're at seven minutes. All right, you get it? Hand breakdown, the whole thing. <laughs> we'll, we'll skip right to the driving video, okay? Peace. Okie dokie, we've got a day two driving video. Uh, I got a text from Jason Kuhn last night. He said he had a dream that I won a bracelet wearing a red blazer. I have a red blazer. I will be wearing that when we make this final table. Ooh, it's in the universe. Okay, well, let's take a closer look here at our table draw for day two. A couple of the seats not filled yet. That'll be filled likely with some uh, day two registrants. All right, the theme for this table, if you take a look at that, what do you think to yourself? What I think is one word, stubborn. Okay, there's some good players at this table. You got Brian Hastings, you got John Monet, you got uh, Alex Livingston, and the one common theme with them, well, John a little bit less, but Hastings and Alex, uh, they're on the stubborn side. Like they'll fight for every pot, you know, they'll fuck around. They're, 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 they're not guys you run over. So our adjustment at this table is we are going to play fundamentally sound. We are not going to um, get involved in sloppiness. We're gonna stick with, you know, solid plus EV plays throughout and not try to outmaneuver or whatever. Let them splash, do their thing. They're very good. This isn't a, this isn't a this, but I'm saying for me, what I don't want to do is I don't I don't want to get involved in like silliness. So we're gonna have hands, we're gonna have strong hands. We're not gonna overextend ourselves with opens and stuff like that. Some bad hands. We're gonna play a little more snug, and uh, you know we'll wait to start pushing the envelope around the bubble when ICM becomes a thing, and all of a sudden, you know people have to have really strong starting hands to continue. So that's the plan today. You know you can't really see the sign anymore just because of the camera angle. No, no, no. We gotta do something about that next year, don't you think? you love the sign. I used to love the sign. I don't know. All right. I got myself uh, another sandwich from Bronze Cafe. This is called the, what the hell is it called? It's called the, the Vegucated. The Vegucated. And these, just because I make sandwiches myself sometimes. All right. Let's go play poker. Feeling good.
All right, we've got our day two added players to the table. We got Yuri, we got Nikki Shulman coming in with 60K, ready to roll. And I told you who else is here. You're gonna be, I, I gave you 15 to 20, but I don't know. Whatever. Last time I played with you, it was five. I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Last time minutes. I played with you, it was five minutes, bro. At least it's not no limit. You can't just go all in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> look at the clock, look at the clock. Okay, you got no more chips. Clock says 40 minutes. You did 50 minutes. I said, did I say 15 or 50? 15. Okay, it was close. Pretty good. All right. Played a lot. Good luck in the next one. Obrigado. Obrigado. <laughs> That's crazy. Yep, Millie Maker Day. They're having a blast over here. The Brazilians, the French, the Euros know how to do it. All right, end of the first level it was a very, what we're going to call a low event level. Stayed comfortable, didn't play any big pots at all. Uh, finished with 226, down mm. a little bit. Uh, like I said, really just didn't, didn't get any hands, but I'm fine with it. I didn't, I'm not like frustrated, no agitation. 226 is great. Um, and you're not going to like, you know, run hot every level. I did so last night in the last couple. And today was just about, you know, weathering a little bit of, not, not even a storm. Because there was no like beats, there was no... Nothing really. I played a couple pots to the river and chopped, but a lot of like checking, a lot of like fish, nothing. Yeah, like I said, low event. So now we got to run real quick to the room. We got to pick up uh, our sandwich from Bra's Cafe and then uh, bring that. Well, I'm at my, I won't even be able to eat it in the room because no time. I'll grab it. I'll show you what it looks like. The vegetator, whatever the hell, vegetator for Bra. I'll, I'll show you. Yeah. I'm excited about it. Let's go. Hungry. All right. Hot diggity. Damn. That looks good. Got the oh, avocado. Oh, oh, that's a mouthful. I'm going to, huh? Mm hmm. Yep. That worked. I'll say that. Let's go. Mm hmm. Never on the break. Never on the break. I only get 10 minutes. I'll come back and I'll do it, though. I promise. Okay. Huh? Very fair. Yes. Well, I mean, yeah, I only get 10 minutes. I got to run all the way over there. And I got so many chips to count. I got 504,000. Oh, baby. Had a nice hand against uh, Joao. Pretty unlucky for him, but folds around with me. And I have a 7 up. He's the bringing with the deuce. I have, a, I have actually a live bad hand. I have Jack 9 7. There's no 9s, no Jacks. No 8s, no 10s either, I don't, as far as I remember. So pretty left hand. But I'm not going to raise with this against the low card. And, you know, he's re raised. I'm like, what am I doing? So I just play a small pot. Well, I catch the jack right away. He makes open deuces. He checks them. I bet he check raises. I'm like, okay, well, that can be some hands. It doesn't have to be three deuces. Now I make jacks and nines. He makes, he catches an eight. He could have, he could have two pair in the hole. He could have a pair in the hole. He could have the three deuces. We got jacks and nines. We're not going to fold just yet. On sixth street, he catches an eight. He has deuces and eights showing. We catch the jack, baby. He bets I raise. He pays it off. I'm pretty sure he obviously was full. He knew I had three jacks, so. Great, calm. That was like the biggest kind of pot I played, if you will. I just sort of grinded and stayed. I haven't been in any trouble. Um, there hasn't been any sort of just kind of like calm, cool, collected. Never out of line. Always with a hand I'm supposed to have, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm gonna prove something. See, I came back like I said I was. Huh? Thanks for waiting. I wanna give you, so here's the spiel, right? I'm gonna give you the spiel, because you're on the vlog now, okay? Hold on, I gotta, that's my alarm, because we gotta get back. We're from Belgium. Hold on. Okay, so I only get 10 minutes on these, right? Yeah, you're gonna stop. Yeah, oh shit. Play, play I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll play them. But you get, I had to run, make a coffee, all the way over there. I had to pee a little bit too, and that's it. That's the end of the break. But I'll, uh, I'll take a picture with you in just a second. Look who it is, it's Brian Hastings, the guy I told you about. Remember the one I said plays? Very, very tight. Always has rolled up aces, kings, and look at all those pretty chips. So far, so good, Brian. Let's keep it up. Try to find some more roll-ups. So I'm gonna be doing some giveaways all summer, but you can't win unless you're a subscriber. So please do me a favor, click the subscribe button down below. All right, time for another break. We got 493.5 after that break. 
Um, we started out pretty good in the first 20 minutes. Ow, not, yeah. Oh, 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 thanks. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> okay. Thanks, bud. 493.5, like I said. Started off pretty hot, as you can see there. Boom, I had, uh, I had it at like 620. I want to call it once early. And then the last hour, it's totally fine. Just going to happen like this. Just anted out. No big pots, no big hits, just slow bleed of, you know, not much uh, cards. But I'm still like twice the average. We got 36 left. It's going to pay 22. It's a long way to the finish line. We'll be playing 8 and 16, which gives me like 30, more than 30 big bets in stud 8. Zoned in. I like the situation. It's a good situation. Okay, so we got a super short turnaround. We got to get a little energy, a little protein. We're going to do a mezcla blueberry style. If you want them, bean eggs 15. Go pick yourself up. That's a promo code. Save yourself some money. And uh, we got to run back because there's not much time. I win being in a crazy Mike sandwich. I, if, I, if I win chips, it's cool. If I lose, then I can leave. <laughs> You're in a Crazy Mike sandwich? Crazy Mike sandwich. This is Crazy Mike, the OG. Well, you're not the OG. You are Crazy Mike. He's yeah. Crazy Mike. This is the this real is just Mike. This is the real Crazy Mike. <laughs> this is the OG Crazy Mike. Craziest Mike. I'm on fucking suicide watch. <laughs> Between the other day and today. But, but who runs worse than me? I have to lose pots and be in a fucking Crazy Mike sandwich. <laughs> fucking want to fucking jump off a fucking bridge. I'm going to have to do a lot of bleeps for that one. I'll tell you something. <laughs> but the ed editors put the bad. Say, you're not allowed to say bridge. That if I jumped <laughs> off the fucking dam, I would live. <laughs> That's how fucking bad I run. Uh, what do you have well, here? It's hard to have worse brain damage. Under though. your phone. Say again? What do you have, Mike, under? Oh, in my phone? Yes. He's crazy, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have fun in this study. <laughs> Off to dinner break, off to dinner break we go. We got 549,000. Listening here, I gotta be careful what I say, but like it's been a pretty non and like very little adversity. Just a smooth climb, and a lot of that has to do with just my patience. I have a hand breakdown I wanna share. Stud eight's a little more complex as a game to explain, but I think this one's interesting enough to share, so we'll do that as soon as we get to the steam room. But there's about I think 25 or 26 people left and it pays 22 spots. We'll go to dinner for an hour and come back and play three more 90 minute levels. All right, guys, a little more complex doing the stud eight or better hand history. So it helps with the graphics, I think, make it a little more simple. So we are playing betting limits of uh, eight and 16,000 with a $2,000 ante and 2,000 is the bring in. Um, Joao brings it in with the deuce of clubs, two tens fold in a row. And then Brian Hastings, with the nine of clubs raises to 8,000. I'm sitting next to him and I've got split jacks with a 10. So I re-raise to 16. Now, little shit, because that's his, that's what people call him, little shit, Ryan Miller. It's, I didn't even know his name was Ryan Miller. I just knew him as little shit. He re-raised with the four of spades and he's a very good stud eight player. So that's gonna be a very strong hand. It could be aces or kings, it could be three spades, it could be some wheel cards with spades, all kinds of, really, whatever it is, it's good. It could be, could be even rolled up fours. Now, Joao calls, you know, the raise and the re-raise, and the re-raise. So, now, Hastings folds, I call, call. On 4th Street, Joao catches a three of hearts, little, a little shit catches a jack of spades. <laughs> I catch the queen of hearts. I check, little shit checks, Joao bets, I call, little shit calls. 5th Street, Joao catches an eight of clubs. Little shit catches the eight of spades. So now he has four of spades, jack of spades, eight of spades. I catch the 10 of hearts. So now I make jacks and tens. I got two pair. I check my queen, jack, 10. Little shit bets, 16,000. Joao calls, just calls. I have jacks and tens with 10 jack queen, I call. On sixth street, Joao catches the queen of diamonds. Little shit catches the four of diamonds. And I catch the nine of diamonds. So now I have nine, 10 jack queen, Jacks and tens. But remember, there's two tens out. Little shit has a jack. So to fill up, I only have one out. But I do have an open and a straight draw, right? Nine, ten, jack, queen. Little shit bets. Joao calls. So what do you do here? There's a lot of money in that pot. Problem is, little shit's range is super strong. He could either have, he could have aces or kings, which have us in bad shape, but we're still drawing live against that. If he has two spades in the hole, we're completely dead. If he has four fours, we're totally dead. Um, 
So we're really just hoping that he has aces or kings with spades in his hand. And even then, we're drawing really slim because it looks like Joao may already have the low and is trying to keep me in, which is what I felt like it was. He didn't want me to go anywhere because he figured, okay, all he's got the low and uh, he wants to suck me in. So I make the fold. I fold the hand. You know, and then they turn their hands up. Little shit did have two kings with the king of spades. So that blocks my straights, two of the kings as well. So I needed a jack, one jack, no tens left. Uh, two of the eights were gone. So my hand's pretty, pretty dead. And Joao did have uh, ace, five, six he came out of the hole with. So good discipline fold on six street. But other than that, I like really haven't had a lot of adversity because I'm, I'm, a, I'm getting out of the hand before anything happens. So keep on trucking, have a little meal, relax, good headspace. All right, we're back from dinner, and somehow Dan Colpoy, otherwise known as the Vegas Pig, yeah, the Vegas Pig is still in the study. I'm, I'm chip leader. Oh, you got more than me? I have six fifty-five. It's amazing, literally <laughs> amazing. <laughs> How? Who would you to read his fucking book or something? No, he would I, never uh, do that. <laughs> <laughs> the Vegas Pig, ladies and gentlemen. Dun, 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 dun. It didn't take him but twenty-two seconds to suck up. Air penis. <laughs> what are you in, John? Not studying. I'm in the, oh wait, you're, Look at you're, you. This autistic is so yeah. uncomfortable yeah, on I, camera. Don't I do this to him. I have played four hours no. left. Yeah. Feeling pretty good. Congrats. Good job. Keep it up. Okay. Okay. Off the break we go. Off the break we go. We got six hundred and two thousand. Smoker. 602,000, 24 left, pays 22. Uh, very, just dialed in, man. I'm watching every hand. I see the mistakes that are being made, not by a lot of players, but a couple. Just don't know. And that's okay, that's good for us. I'm still sticking with the good discipline on 4th Street to just get away. I'm not I'm not chasing, I'm not, what, would I, what I call running out, running without the ball. I'm not running without the ball all the way. Running without the ball is like, you got nothing and you're just hoping. That they fold because you catch good. No, there's none of that. Playing solid. 602,000, as I said, headed in the right direction. Speaking of direction, we got to get to our thing. So, only these 10 minute breaks are great, except when I'm over here, not much time to home. All right, so I've returned to some controversy here. Apparently, uh, two out of the money, one player was all in and his river card was dealt up by the dealer. Oopsie, it was a jack. That would have given him a full house, correct? Correct. Would have had a full house. Instead, he had a... Kings up. Ugats. Three kings. Yeah, no three good. Kings. So he couldn't, so he lost. So the, because of the mistake, what happens now is you, they reshuffle. It used to be you keep all the up cards and then, you know, you play accordingly and you bet it with the up, everyone getting their card up. But they changed the rule. No, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> That yeah, sucks. so now we wait a little bit. It's okay, six minutes. But we are on the stone. We are on the stone cold bubble now. And there's, well, no shorties in my table. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I've been chilling all day, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, chilling like a villain. Ain't nothing but a chicken wing or string. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're on the bubble. Look at the gentlemen. Really, really rooting for Alex right here. They're all rooting for you. All those guys over there. Go, Alex. Good game, Alex. Good game, everybody. We have our bubble boy. Right. And that's that. All right, right before the bubble, I played an interesting hand. He was in it. And so it was Mr. Brin Kenny. And he raised with a five, Brin. I call with a four, five, six with a five up. He calls with a deuce. He makes open deuces. He has five jack. I catch a four. So I got four, six showing, pair of fours. I beg to check with you. He's got the jack five. I see him. Going one way, not okay. personally. For example, against me, <laughs> it's very, very good. Yeah, what are you going to do? So I call. On 5th Street, Jack 5 catches 3. On spots that I will seven. allow. Just I a fire. I three fours, I figured that out I'm too. I'm in driver's seat. And then I bet I'll call. 6th Street, he catches a 5. I catch a queen. This man catches another freaking deuce. Three deuces showing. And he check raised on 4. Looked a lot like a full house or something. My hand was pretty dead too. There was a 5 out. Two fives are out. So I fold. And uh, you know, three like, deuces awesome. won the pot. <laughs> That's what happened. But I promise you, I'm. I would fold that. If, if given given the situation again, I would. Maybe they're very good at playing this hand. It's a tough spot. 
but I get to give the guy credit for a pot of hair. They, they, they don't, don't understand the vulgar. I get huh? different card on seven, too. Yeah, well, yeah, you might have filled up. I might win it. That's true. Yeah. So we saved money. Let's look at it that way. That's little shit, by the way. The guy was on the bar. He goes by little shit. I don't call him. I, I didn't make it up. It's, it's a long-time nickname. Endearing. Endearing, yeah. All right, we're going to the last break of the night. 21 or left. That, that level was a little bit rough, but this is, you know, the first bit of adversity we had. We got 319,000. Um, it's just going to be almost 11 big bets, which is fine. This level was rough. I told you about the fours hand where I made three fours with four, five, six. If Bryn folded like he was supposed to, I would have had a nice pair of fours with three, four, five, six against who knows what. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, then I had, well, I had ace, three, four, five, and four and caught queen, jack, nine, bricked. And then uh, I had three other ace, four, five, ace, deuce, five, ace, three, five hands that I didn't even get past uh, fifth street with because I caught like jack 10 or something like that. So got to weather the storm, hang in there. The average is about 400. And like I said, we got 320. So we're right, we're in it, you know, we're in it. Just first little uh, speed bump, that's all. All right, we're about an hour left in the night. Looks like Mark Gregor's just busted, which means yours truly. Do you, are you in the last longer? No, I'm not. All right, I think no. I won. I think I won the last longer. I think so. I look around actually, the- Actually, actually ask me, but yeah. for once I say no. <laughs> because I never won it. Yeah, so, well, so now you... Say, you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe a good, a good thing, actually, yeah. you know? I've been running hot with these last longer. Mm -hmm. 1K, 35K? Yeah, I think something like that. When so, Alan, thank you for running it. Maybe I'll tip you some underwear, <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwich, some t-shirts. I don't know, I'll think something. All right, got moved to a new table for balance. They chose me first hand. I get three clubs, raise, raise. I fold the very next hand. I get three diamonds with a queen in the hole. Um, I catch a queen on five and a queen on six. I've opened three queens with a flush draw. I have four diamonds and four, three queens and a flush draw. <laughs> Calvin Anderson had some four, four jack six board and he had four jack somehow. So he had jack four in the hole. Limp, yeah, he had four jack in the hole and uh, I did not fill up. So we lost that one. And then I just picked up ace, deuce, four, five against uh, jack nine, deuce. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, three spades. He made a pair of sixes. I had ace, deuce, four, five. I caught a, what did I catch? Three high guards. No pair. Damn. Okay, so we got, we on the grind, but we got six big bets, plenty. All right, we got good news, bad news. Good news is we made it to day three with 17 players remaining. I think I came 13th in this last year, the 10K study. The bad news is, is I went to this table and it was bonkers. I mean, the chips were flying. Everybody's in there with all kinds of sorts of like random shit. Like it felt like Calvin had a jack in the hole every single time. It was so weird. Um, and I just didn't hit. I had some wheel draws, had some low draws. And like last that other one, I just caught like, I caught so many, I've caught so many jack 10, nine, queen jack nines, like legit down the stretch huh oh you want me to sign that okay sure thanks i'll yeah i'll finish this and then i'll do it yeah um thanks for waiting um so yeah we're gonna come back at 2 p.m tomorrow listen we're playing, we're playing 20 and 40 thousand at 51 <laughs> so that's one bet one big bet and a little bit but we got annies 5k a pop which gives us uh about 10 annies so we got a few hands to look at i mean i'll annie all the way down if i have to that's the way the game works sometimes but we'll get it in We'll get it in, we'll do the right thing. I played great. I mean, just what can I tell you? It was great, still in, we're gonna give it a go. Back at it tomorrow, peeps. See ya. I'm gonna sign this dude's hat. <laughs> Say hi to the people. <laughs>